In this video, we're going to learn a little bit more about a program called Profex. Through Profex, the ministry manages the application processes of the following education and training programs, Spanish and foreign language assistance, visiting professors, bilingual section professors, and training courses for Spanish teachers in foreign teaching programs. In this video, we are going to explain step by step how program candidates can register online with the ministry and how to complete the different sections of the online resume in Profex. The first thing we should do is access the website. Search the following direction on the screen. Once you have accessed the page, click on Mantenimiento del CV. You will now see the website access page. Here we can access the application system by entering a username and password, if we already have them. Or we can register for the first time by clicking Registrate. If we have an electronic ID, electronic signature, or clave, we can access directly by clicking Acceder in the top button. Next, we click the option Registro de Persona Física, and in the next page, we fill in our personal information. It is important to put an email that we check regularly, since that is where you'll receive any system notifications. A notification of needed corrections to the application, application acceptance, awarding a spot in one of the programs, etc. In this last case, it is especially important because there is usually a deadline assigned for responding. To finish, we mark the boxes for Declaración and Consentimiento. And finally, we click the button Aceptar. Once we have done this, we will receive an email to the same email address we put in the system, which will ask us to click the link in order to validate our information. You will be able to validate the information within a 24-hour period. With this last step, we have registered to the program system, and we will now be able to access Profex. The next step is to complete the online resume in Profex. We follow the same process from before to arrive at the page in which it asks for the username and password. If we have registered with Clave, pushing the above button and following the instructions will work as well. If we'd registered with the username and password, we put those in the corresponding text fields and click Acceder. In the next page, we click the button Acceso al Tramite, and the principal page of Profex will open. In the left menu, we see different sections. The first that appears is the resume, which is displayed with various subsections. The next section is the option to print the resume we fill out, then the different programs in which one can participate once the application is finished. The first subsection of the resume that we should fill out in order to continue is the one labeled Datos Personales, or Personal Information. In this page, it is enough to fill out the fields for País de residencia, nacionalidad, sexo, fecha de nacimiento, and dirección permanente. We will also be able to attach a photograph file no larger than 100 kilobytes. To finish, we click the button Aceptar at the end of the page. Once that is finished, we can continue to fill out the rest of the subsections. In the PDF manual, we can consult what information we should add in each section. Right now, we are going to explain how to include this information and attach the accrediting documentation. The first thing we should do is click the subsection in which we want to add something. As an example, we are going to do it in Formación Académica. We click the title of the subsection. We see that the right-hand side of the page changes and shows us the contents. In order to add new information, in this case a degree, we will click the button Alta. The fields that are just below the button will, will activate and we will be able to add information. We select the school where we have studied. If it is Spanish, we select it from the displayable menu. If it is not included in the menu, we will write it in the field Otros Centros. If the degree that we want to add is the CAP, 
It is enough to mark that box. If it is a Spanish degree, we will write the name of the degree in the field marked Titulos Españoles, and we select the corresponding option in the drop-down menu. If you are a foreigner or your degree is not included, we will write that in the field. Titulos no recogidos en el apartado anterior. Next, we can fill in the start and end dates. Indicate if you are studying your last year and your grade point average. To finalize, we click Aceptar. As we can see, in the following subsections, the system for adding information is the same. Whenever we want to add new information, we should click the button Alta, fill the corresponding fields, and attach the accrediting documentation. If we want to edit any information, we click the feather icon so that the fields reactivate and we can make changes. Then we click Aceptar. If we want to consult the information that we have added, we only need to push the magnifying glass button. If we want to eliminate any information, we click the ASPA icon and the Aceptar button.